in addressing the critical issues of smoke inhalation, which is a known major cause of death, particularly amongst women and children who are the most vulnerable as they have to walk long distances for hours in search of firewood. The minister says the lack of coherence cut across all arms and levels of government and generally characterized by lack of information or information sharing, protection of space, duplication of efforts that is counterproductive and general suspicion to clean up domestic production of safe stoves. Early this year, the Federal Electric Council approved a memo sent by the Minister of Petroleum Resources on the new gas policy. In this policy, if it is properly implemented with the target of the year 2020, there is a chance of getting infrastructure in place that will convert our gas into something that could be used domestically, apart from what is being exported. The direct contribution to deforestation that ultimately affects the climate was emphasized by the President of the Senate, Bukola Saraki, who called for the need to step up activities to encourage clean energy household cooking. The evidence is clear. We must rise up to the occasion and solve this problem because cooking shouldn't kill. As a nation, there's a need to step up our activities and actions aimed at ensuring the increased usage of clean energy by households in the country. Chairman Senate Committee on Climate Change and Ecology and other clean stove stakeholders highlights the acute health challenges women and girl children encounter, especially at the rural community, due to exposure to smoke. It is the killer in the Nigerian kitchen. 100,000 lives are lost every year because of smoke from the kitchen. And usually we try to put this in perspective. Besides malaria and HIV AIDS, this is the third killer of Nigerian women. The stakeholders believe that with much advocacy and awareness, over 24 million households cooking inefficiently on open fire can be saved. Annie Patrick, Call TV News, Abuja.